Jeremy is an innovative expert, award-winning author, one of the most requested keynote speakers on the planet, and the founder of TrendHunter.com. And today, over 300 brands, billionaires, and CEOs rely on his expertise to find better ideas faster. Jeremy's been described as an intellectual can of Red Bull by Association Week, and on the forefront of cool by MTV. Ladies and gentlemen, Jeremy Gouche. Human hearts, rocket ships, scorpions, and origami. These might seem unrelated, but if you understood chaos, if you could connect the dots, I could make you better at anything. Better innovator, better investor, better at adapting. People don't internalize it, but we're experiencing history's highest rate of change, and yet our brain is the product of 10,000 years of evolution, effectively as a farmer. And that comes with a series of traps. Traps that block your hunter instincts and that block you from adapting to find your true potential. Smart teams, successful people consistently overlook ideas that were so close within their grasp. I've spent a decade studying chaos and helping about 400 brands, billionaires, and CEOs adapt to change faster. And today I'm going to do that with you. I'm going to make you better and faster. I'm going to make you better by showing you the traps that block you from realizing your potential. And I'm going to make you faster by showing you six patterns of opportunity. Patterns and shortcuts that I've learned from studying a quarter million ideas using Trent Hunter's audience of 100 million people like a giant innovation focus group. You're going to see a new way to realize your potential. And if it works, I'm going to make you better and faster. But the thing is, because I also have to get you riled up, because I have to kick this off, we could either study Fortune 500 companies, it's okay, or if you want, we could use a bear fighter, the business of ugly, retro video games, reclusive billionaires, rap stars, and maybe even ex-criminal entrepreneurs. What do you want to learn from? Do you want to learn from Fortune 500s or ex-criminals? Ex-criminals! I love you guys already. So you've chosen the path of the criminal. Well, it's actually interesting because the lifespan of a Fortune 500 used to be 75 years, but that average has now fallen to 15 years, and it's expected to fall in half over the next decade. I think it's more interesting to understand how chaos works, how successful teams and smart people respond to change. What's going to become clear is that chaos creates predictable opportunity. And that's actually something that can benefit each and every person in this room. So the question, of course, is how? How do you connect the dots? How do you put these pieces together? Well, for this, I want to talk about human hearts, rocket ships, scorpions, and origami. They might seem unrelated, but not to Robert Lang, an origami expert for hire who used the power of paper folding to change lives. Now, at first, that seems a little bit ridiculous, but let me explain. When Robert was a kid, his teacher gave him a book on origami. I got one too, but my origami looked horrible, but Robert was different. Robert loved this stuff. He obsessed. And sure, he went to Caltech. Sure, he ended up eventually getting a job at NASA. He had 23 patents and jet propulsion. All right, but you know, at night, at night, At night, what he got excited about was the Japanese underworld of competitive origami. He obsessed about origami and possibilities like the black scorpion. And I know what you're thinking. Traditional paper folding wisdom tells us we can't fold that scorpion with a single piece of paper. But Robert obsessed about it. He couldn't help but think that patterns, opportunities, clues are all around us, and in innovation, Your idea is usually closer than you think, but it's something you're overlooking. So he started breaking that little scorpion down, and he built a little program that would actually let him see the shapes and just start to find patterns a little faster. Pretty soon he realized he could fold just about anything. So he continued on his exploration until he created what was known as the secret weapon. He could fold anything with a piece of paper, The world of competitive origami would be forever changed. The average number of folds in competition went from 30 to well over 100, which leads you to that fateful day where you pick up the phone and you say, Mom, yeah, you you know that job at NASA thing? I've decided to quit to fold paper full time. (laughs) 
as much as that would scare many of you in the room, when Robert was interviewed by a newspaper, he said, there are plenty of people doing lasers, but the things I could do in origami. <laughs> and at first that seems far-fetched, but when NASA needed to figure out how to fold a satellite to get it inside the shuttle, they needed Robert Lang's origami. When a heart stent manufacturer needed to figure out how to squeeze that little stent into a heart valve, they needed Robert Lang's origami. And of course, the reason you have 13 airbags in your luxury vehicle is because he's figured out how to fold those to make them happen. And perhaps most astonishingly, when bioengineers actually stack the human genome, they use Robert Lang's origami. When I interviewed Robert, what he had to say to me was that almost all innovation happens by making connections between fields that other people didn't realize. In times of change, unfortunately, most people will miss out. And that's not what we want to try and think about. We want to be motivated. But in order to actually make change happen, you need to realize that we are hindered by a series of traps from evolution. We're in this crazy, fast period of change, but our brain hasn't adapted or had to adapt at that very same speed. Once you find your field of opportunity, your occupation, your job, your team, your process, your big marketing strategy, once you find that field that puts food on your table, you're pre-wired to repeat and optimize all of the decisions that led to last year's harvest. For example, Kodak invented the digital camera in 1975. BlackBerry popularized the smartphone, but of course they protected their business market so much they overlooked consumer. Blockbuster Video was one of the most successful retailers ever. They had three chances to buy Netflix, but they didn't. <laughs> Smith Corona, they invented laptop word processors, grammar checkers, spell checkers. They invented a lot of the word processing we use today. They spent one year selling computers, but then they decided to focus on their B2B customers, their multinational corporations, their governments, their banks. They retreated back from selling computers. They decided to be the best typewriter company in the world. <laughs> and they still are today. In each of these examples, the company, the people, the successful people working there found something they were good at, they started harvesting it, and that caused them to miss out on their true potential. We repeat whatever led to last year's harvest. We farm. To break out of this, there's three things you need to do. You need to awaken your inner hunter, you need to hunt, and you need to capture opportunity. Learn more at JeremyGucci.com.